they come personally to threaten you. When I threaten, like, unongea ume I was not paid to the public. I'm not paid. I, the only thing I need is money. It is the money our parents paid is what we are running after. Ni pesa tu tunataka. Ndiyo tuishi, tusikia leadership ya wasigishu. We be good in everything, it's only money, Mr. Governor. Honorable Governor, devolution conference will never happen if these parents have not been defended. I know the goons will go fight me, but just come and fight me. I am dead already. Nisha kufandani. It's only the face that I have. I am dead. Kama mtu angezikwa kiwa uwai, I am very ready kuzikwa. Because I am already dead. So as our leaders, do something. We need our refund. Personally, imagine paying the money and no placement in any university. Since July last year, until now, no placement in Finland, no placement in Canada. Where am I heading to? Sinikaburi tu. See, this only death that is calling me. Because if the leaders we were fighting for are the ones who are to, they don't want to tell us the truth. Just tell us the truth. Devolution Conference will, not, will do nothing if these people are suffering. We need money. Ara, they had to think on their feet. Mia na lengu, ni kujaribu kuruka sila adults ambazo tunapata kwa program. Awasweli wanasema, mgala muwe, lakini haki, mpe. Sinamna hiyo? Kama inge kuwa Max Globo, Hii program ya kwenda Finland, Elgio Marakwet na Sisi ainge kuwa. Wakati Elgio Marakwet wale run program kwa sababu walikuwa mbele yetu. Hawa walikuwa na sha wa sha engage mbaka university. Mbaka governor Tolgos alikuwa sha enda huko wa meongea na yu university. Wakasonga mbele. Ikafika wakati ya ukuleba karo. Wazazi wa Elgio Marakwet wakapewa kulipa karo kwa account ya serikali ya account ya Elgio Marakwet kwa serikali sa account sile pesa zote sinaingia kwa county government inapitia account moja ambaye inaitwa county revenue account wakati hao walilipa hiyo school fees kwenda kwa serikali ya county Elgio mara kwetu wakakua na matatizo ya kulipa fees kwenda university. Kwa sababu sikuile walienda kuitisha pesa sasa kulipa. Hule controller of budget. Ambaye mmesikia mwishimu wa deputy governor akiongea. Haka uliza Elgio mara kwetu. Kwa budget yinu. Sioni program ya kupeleka watoto finla. Mina ya salala inje. Nambi wa lala inje. Ululusa vitu yangu mlikuwa mwongea nini? Mbaka up to now kweli watoto, kama mimi watoto wetu wa waendi, ama kuna msasi antaka, kama patu ukafaile po waende, wanaenda tuta kufunga. Lakini mimi mtoto yangu waendi, tumemfungia, alikuwa university, ange, ange graduate mwesu watisa. Sabu mimi sina jochote, niliusa shamba, nikausa tinga, nikausa chembe. Nikaongeza mpaka na arambe, nilipa 1.177. Nilisikia manda kwa vizuri, nilisikia seneta wetu, na nikafraia fila alikuwa metuamusha. Na hiyo baraka ingekua saa hitu na imba tuwe kushukuru. Lakini saa hitu na lia machozi. Atulali, ukilala unapa amuka etu hivi, au talala tena. Niko na msana anataka na achoi, sina, sina pesa chochote saa hizi. Ule mgini nimefanya juu chini, sila sababu mtota ata kaa for a long time, ako na mimi. Mtoto amekuwa frustrated hata wakati mwingine alali nyumbani. Tunamwongelesha anarudi anakaa anasema ili hata niende kwa andi. Sababu kama we ulifanywa sana moyoni mwangu kwa siku ya leo lakini baadaye nilifurahi baada ya kuona viongozi wetu wako hapa mbele. 
Uh, uchungu ambao niko naye ni kwamba mheshimiwa Barorot aliweza kutaja jina yangu na akasema kwamba mimi nimelipwa. Mimi nililipa pesa shilingi 1650 ingawa anaona ni kidogo ama wengi wenu mnaweza ona ni kidogo ili nikarimu jasho mingi. Niliuza shamba, niliuza ngombe, niliuza kuku mpaka kila kitu ndiyo nichange ifike hiyo 1650. Kama ni pesa kidogo kwa mwingine kwangu ilikarimu kila kitu ambacho nilikuwa nacho. Pesa ambaye nilipokea ambaye niko naye kwa check ni 108. Ilhali deputy governor alinitangaza ya kwamba amenilipa pesa ambaye ni full money. Ninakimbizwa na watu kwa kijiji nafikiri tumepona ni okolea ya school fees na sikia ulilipwa na DG DG tafadhali ulikibe jobi moti nyaka lietu nguno mori we gonyu a student who has got no future as we are talking i graduated but it is not assisting me in any way because the struggle that my parents had is being failed by the county government of Wasingishu. County government of Wasingishu. Our governor and our senator. We are suffering. We are being depressed. We feel death is the only option we have in life. Taking loans, selling cows, kuza shamba, everything and the parents still remaining in the same same state of life is a thing that as leaders you should solve it with an immediate effect will you allow us die because of the money we paid to the government because of the money we paid under the management of the county government of Wasingishu our governor. It is good you have the devolution conference. But it would never assist or it would never bring any importance in Wasingishu County while the people in Wasingishu County are suffering. Yes. Devolution conference is to assist the government of Wasingishu. How will we be happy welcoming the visitors, the 10,000 visitors, to Wasingishu, while the people who are supposed to welcome those visitors are sick. We are sick. And the only remedy we want is refund. At a personally, I'm depressed. And the only option, in fact, today I'll be more depressed because of the stories we have been having. These have been stories. We, have, we know the program from the beginning. We knew we have to pay the, the amount. Our parents worked hard. They paid. And now, tunashungushana. Seriously. Personally, I was in some media stations. I called them goons, or I, I, I called them a, like your people, or the people of a governor. They come personally to threaten you. Wanani threaten. Like, I was not paid to the public. I'm not paid. I, the only thing I need is money. It is the money our parents paid is what we are running after. Ni pesa tu tunataka. Ndiyo tuishi, tusikia leadership ya wasigishu. We be good in everything, it's only money, Mr. Governor. Honorable Governor. Devolution conference will never happen if these parents have not been defunded. I know the goons will go fight me, but just come and fight me. I'm dead already. Nisha kufandani. It's only the face that I have. I'm dead. Kama mtu wangezikwa kiwa uwai, I'm very ready kuzikwa. Because I'm already dead. So as our leaders, do something. We need our refund. Personally, imagine paying the money and no placement in any university since July last year. 
until now. No placement in Finland, no placement in Canada. Where am I heading to? Sinikaburi tu. See, this only death that is calling me. Because if the leaders we were fighting for are the ones who are to, they don't want to tell us the truth. Just tell us the truth. Devolution Conference will, not, will do nothing if these people are suffering. We need money. Ara, they had to think on their feet. Nia na lengu ni kujaribu kuruka sila adults ambazo tunapata kwa program.